Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Ruben. Today I'm watching House of the Dragon Season 2. Wow, so we're already two episodes into uh, House of the Dragon and we can quickly see how the different players of the game are moving their chess pieces. In the last episode we saw how basically uh, Otto Hightower lost his power. Uh, basically uh, the King Aegon, his grandson, has decided that he should no longer be the ha hand of the king and has made Cole, Christian Cole, the hand of the king. Second, Christian Cole used his own little move to try to kill Rhaenyra. And he sent uh, Eric's brother, twin brother, to try to kill her. Fortunately, that was an unsuccessful attempt. But unfortunately, we lost both of the twins. Obviously, there was lots of ramifications because of the death of Aegon's son. <clears throat> this gave an opportunity for the portrayal of Renera as a cruel person killing a young infant baby. Order in that means that she didn't order that. Damon disagrees with... Uh, Renera goes away. He never changes. That guy will never change. He's just too impulsive, too much into himself, I think. He never thinks of the consequences that happens to the other people. So I'm ready to see what's going to happen in the next episode. So before I start, I would like to ask you to please subscribe to my channel. That would help me out so much. Otherwise, if you're ready to watch, listo, vamos. Here you go, HBO. The Burning Mill. I'm going to try to put more attention to this tapestry or this, yeah, this beginning because I, I, it's definitely clues in here. Is this the, uh... Well enough for killing Blackwood. <laughs> Uh-oh. Who's coming? Put the boundary stones back. We didn't move them. Hmm? Oh, did they move themselves then? Just River Hills or River Run? This is our land. What's going on here? It's Brackenland. Mm hmm. Just a challenge. Babe killer. What did you say? Your false queen Rhaenyra is a kid. Oh no. Your uncle declared for Aegon, did he? Uh oh. Aegon Targaryen is no true king. Hmm. Just as you are no true knight. Oh no. You're both raven. Little gods. Uh oh. Yep. Yeah, I saw this coming. You wouldn't dare. Uh, maybe he would. Oh, crap. Oh, damn. Some oh, man. Right through the neck. Wow. With his own sword. Wow, there definitely was a battle here. Crazy. Was that the dragon? It looks like this, the windmill's on fire. Basis of villains. He sullies the grave of his brother. Hmm. I cannot fault him for keeping his oath. Not of those who sent him. Hmm, exactly. I hope her son is a little bit more reserved and listens to his mom. Otto Hightower would never have allowed this. Ha. Ah. Hotter blood has prevailed, I think. Okay, she's sensing someone else, which is a good instinct. Soon they will not even remember what it was that began the war in the first place. Yep. But it's easy enough, they usurped my throne. That is one answer. Or was it when the child was beheaded? Yeah, that doesn't help either. Right? Or when Eamon killed Luke? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Or when Luke took Eamon's eye. It all consequences. When the desire to kill and burn takes hold and reason is forgotten. There may be another way. Okay. What's your other way? Alicent Hightower. To talk to her? To get through her? When last we met, Alicent said I would make a fine queen. You've seen what has happened since then. She came to me in the hours after your Lord Father's death. She knows war is coming. Maybe they can get through to her? No war so hateful to the gods as a war between kin. Mm-hmm. Totally. Between family? And no war so bloody as a war between dragons. Yeah. I do not believe she wants it. What she did is not her, but the men around her who seek bloodshed. She permitted it. Well, she didn't really. As you permitted the murder of a little boy in his bed. Right. You can't blame her for that specifically. Come on, Rhaenyra. Think logically. Alicent is in King's Landing. Her son sits my throne. But Alicent could be influential. There is nothing more to be said. You should listen to your advisors. I thought that was pretty good advice. Here he comes. 
They're like, okay. Are you gonna announce him? <laughs> no. Okay, so he gets a seat at the table now. Forgive my Mm-hmm. Sir Arik was awarded the great duty of ending Rhaenyra's challenge. He failed to discharge it. He failed because the scheme was rash. Perhaps, Your Grace, but we cannot all hide in our castles waiting for war to come to us. As now it surely will. Mm-hmm. Yep. House Bracken took it upon themselves to attack the Blackwoods, who declared for the Pretender. There you go. Lord Samuel Blackwood himself is slain. Good. Both sides took heavy losses. Creating, losing men, creating havoc. Call it what you will. I call it war. Oh, God, he's determined to go to war, isn't he? The question is, what are we going to do about it? Nothing? Go ahead, Cole, Lord of the Hand. We send a raven to Lord Tully. He must control them. Lord Grover Tully is a flaccid old fool. Hey. Begging your pardon, Your Grace. Do you have any better suggestions, Lord Jasper? Your brother Darren's dragon Neos fighting age call on them to suppress the revelation. Now, last day are months away. My lord brother Jason is raising a great army at Castle. Jason Lannister, great. Should we not aim to unite these armies and then strike <laughs> as one? Ah, the great military mind of the Citadel. Hey, guys. This council must rediscover the discipline it lately had if it's to be of any... Mm -hmm. Harren Hall is the key to the Riverland. You need time to raise the numbers to challenge the Rivermen. Speed is my... Speed. I will turn the Crown land houses who declared for Rhaenyra to our cause, or I will enlist the Brackens. Subdue the Riverlands and take her. There you go. Okay. Good plan. A bold scheme indeed. Well, the gods favor the bold. They did not favor Sir Eric. Mm hmm. Exactly. What say you, my king? And you'll take Aemond and Vagar. Vagar will remain here to defend the city. Hmm. Okay. To war then. To war. Great. I'll come too with Sunfire. Egon. Your grace. What will you do if you encounter one or more of Rhaenyra's dragons? She'll want to answer for Sir Arik. We will be more likely to encounter one if we field one of our own. Yeah. That is precisely why you must remain, brother. It's a brave thought, but we cannot risk your loss. Hmm. <laughs> kind of. Now, <laughs> you're the king. I'm as fearsome as any of them. Are you? So they're going to try to strike back. Great. So she stayed back. Okay. I was told you turned back from your ship to bring water. Mm-hmm. I was not believed at first. You saved my life. Yeah. What is the life of a queen worth? Please. Oh. You wish to be rewarded. <laughs> Maybe. As I would think, you would wish to reward me. Yeah, you should reward her a little bit. What price would you set? A place at your court. Oh. You said your earnest desire was to flee Westeros. Yeah. And you let me go. You showed me grace when you could have withheld it. Okay. She could be an ally. Get some uh, spies on your side. One turn for another then. I know the workings of the Red Keep and the movements of those who serve. Mm-hmm. That is worth more than gold, do you know? Yeah, definitely. And what is my worth to you? I would punish the high towers for what they have done. Oh. To me, but more than that, I know the struggles of the small folk of King's Landing. They will be ruled either by you or by the usurp. Mm-hmm. And only one of you has shown yourself to be merciful. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so she's making her own little moves. Good job. I've decided to send Joffrey to ward with my cousin, Lady Jane Arryn. She has pledged an army in return for a dragon, so she will have one. Aegon and Viserys will accompany him until a place of greater safety can be found. Taraxes is but a hatchling. And Stormcloud. I want you to go with them. Hmm? The Red Keep is in disarray. They have sent one assassin in the night. You must take the little ones further to Pentos. Okay. It is safer than anywhere in Westeros. Wow. It breaks my heart to send my boys away. I need you to be the mother to them that I cannot. Wow. Big responsibility. Train them. Guard them as a dragon guards her eggs. Make this sacrifice willingly. Hmm. For all of us. No pressure. Wow. Your no grace. Whew. That went kind of okay, I guess. Whoa. There's Damon. Where you been hanging out, Damon? Is this Heron Hall? Oh, too late. Oh. Not seem too stable. So what's Damon's uh, plan? Are you kidding me, Damon? This could be very, 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 very dangerous. Wow. Is there anyone around? Where are they hiding? Either you're very brave or very stupid, Damon. But impulsive as always. Wow, what a sight. Damn. 
Do we, are we hearing noises? <laughs> Spooky ones or just regular people <laughs> talking? Okay, someone's nearby. Be very careful. Wow. I'm claiming Aaron Hall. Okay. That's it? Apparently so. <laughs> it's not much to claim though. Okay, you bent the knee. I, Sir Simon Strong, Castellan of Harren Hall, pledge fealty to Rhaenyra of House Targaryen, first of her name. Okay. Do they have any men in Harren Hall that can help out? Uh, everyone eats, so he doesn't think it's... I survived many a battle. I do not mean to be felled by poison peas. That's what I was thinking. Poison? Well, it's an easy way to kill a dragon rider. Hmm. Possibly, yes. If you've not yet surmised, you are welcome here. Okay. And what of your lord, Laris Strong? Hmm? Oh, Laris. Laris Clubfoot is no lord of mine. He's a scourge upon this castle and this family. 100%. So, no, you will find no loyalty to Laris Strong here, my dear. Okay. Your Grace. Forgive me, I... I um... What do you mean, Your Grace? I'd only assume that as consul... Then we are reminded of the perilousness of assumption. Hmm? Your Grace. Ah, Damien. What then brings you to our corner of the Riverlands? Paranol is the largest castle in the Seven Kingdoms. Mm-hmm. There are 40,000 swords in the Riverlands. Oh. The largest undeclared host in the realm. Only Harrenhal is of a size enough to garrison. Okay. You know that a substantial number of those swords have now declared and are presently at war. Oh. But his Bracken and Blackwood have long detested one. Right. Why? The answer to that is lost in time. Yeah, it always happens, doesn't it? Why are we fighting? Summon your Lord Paramount so that I may treat with him myself and turn them to our cause. Okay. That would be Lord Grover Tully, but he grows frail. It's said that he can no longer speak. Can no longer speak? His grip on his bannerman is weak. I will speak with him nonetheless. Perhaps the presence of the crown and a dragon. Hmm. Can change their perspective on things? If you are successful, well, when you are successful. We march on King's Landing and take the throne. Okay. The throne. It's a big chair. Yeah, he he knows what it is. So, Kristen, may I present my brother, Sir Gwen Hightower? Oh, brother. Sir so Kristen, mayhaps I should say, my Lord Hand. Mm-hmm. Sir so Gwen, welcome to King's Landing. How exhilarating to arrive at court three long months on the road to find my Lord Father. God. Who served three kings faithfully, unseated his hand of the king. Mm-hmm. And by a man from such modest beginnings. Well, you play your cards right. Gwen has volunteered to accompany you into battle. Really? That's good, right? We have a full compliment, Your Grace. Then you shall have a fuller one. The march will be hard, sir. No one is more delighted than I to march out to war with the Dornishman. Okay, he's gonna fight the Dornish. Should be interesting. I hope we get to see it. Let's see if this plan works. They still got the people hanged? They should have brought them down by now. Ah! It's gonna be very risky going around without any dragons, considering you have so many available. Still no sightings. No men. No horses. No ships. No dragons. Okay. Good. Then we must seize the hour and act before our enemies. Oh. They have penetrated our castle walls, and now the Riverlands are aflame after the Battle of the Burning Mill. How fares Prince Damon with our army? There has been no word from Prince Damon. Okay, not yet. We must press what advantage we do have. And what is that? Yeah, what is the advantage? Oh. Send them all out and burn those who resist. No. If dragons begin fighting dragons, we invite our own destruction. Exactly. Fear of it is in itself a weapon. <laughs> the value of a sword. Who's this guy to talk? We will secure victory with armies, not with dragons alone. The Vale and the North will send men. Your Grace, you have witnessed firsthand just how vulnerable you are. You have never been so exposed. Perhaps it is time for you to think about secreting yourself somewhere safe. Mm -hmm. While we remain here as a source of distraction. Uh-huh. Okay, sure. You propose to conduct the war in my absence? It, it would merely be a precaution. It would be treason. Yep. These guys. You are fortunate you took it no further. Mm -hmm. This council would do well to remember that their queen wears the crown of my grandsire, Jaehaerys the Conciliator, the wisest of Targaryen kings whose reign outlasted every other. Be warned. Mm -hmm. Be warned. These guys have no respect for the queen. The 
Vera's counsel is wayward. She has a hard task. But I fear she'll need you by her side sooner than late. Mm. There's bread, still warm. There's broth too, I made sure. Oh, that's nice for lunch. <laughs> they care for each other. We are at war, Corner. Yep. If something were to befall you. It is well that I am a good sailor. There's a lot of risk in these times. I have much to attend to. She's really worried about her husband. I mean, dangerous, dangerous times. And she's going back to Pentos, I believe. I cannot spare a fighting dragon, but I say what I can. Stormcloud and Tyraxes are small, but they will grow. It is for you to remind Lady Jane of her pledge and persuade her of the urgency of our need. Mm. Go safely, sister. I will be safe enough. Far away from any danger with only babes to nurse me. You do a great service and may yet find yourself glad to be out of harm's way. Do not coddle me, Bela. Grant me at least that dignity. I meant no insult. We each do what we can. And here, I think, is some consolation. Okay, what's the consolation? These eggs are even more fragile. Wow, four more. But should all come to ruin here, you will bear our hope for the future. She's the one. Your Grace. Wow, big responsibility, huge. And the two little ones as well. That must be so hard. So now she's taking care of those young dragons, but some four eggs. That's six dragons you would have. Tough decision, has to be done. I feel sad about Jaharis, but I ought not to, I think. People die all the time. Well, not your own kids. Not like that. You're allowed to feel grief. Sadness is a condition of motherhood. There's not to be gained from it. No, well, you're human, right? You're a mother. That horrid procession where the small folk all stared at me. I warrant they thought I had no more right to grief than they do. Mm, that's possibly true. You have as much claim to grief as anyone. Of course. Totally. Hello. I, I forgive you. Mm, wow. What? I said that I forgive you. Mm -hmm. There are rumours that the king readies himself to fly to war. And what is it to you? Only that I think it would benefit all of us to prevent our king from being brutally slain by our enemies and his body parts scattered to beasts and his court come to ruin. Uh, yeah, but why does he get to walk around and do anything he wants? What exquisite armour? I was given the conqueror's name and his crown, so I shall wear his armour to war. Mm -hmm. I fly to meet Sir Criston. He told him not to take the dragon. Position before you depart, then your grace. Hmm. Everyone leave. Damn, he has a lot of influence. There are diverse rumors whispered on the streets of your city. One such is that your grace sends his forces to battle, and in his courage and wisdom, flies with them. But the other? Another is that his grace was outwitted by his counselors and persuaded to fly to war with Sir Criston, so the Queen Alison may reign in his absence. Oh, really? With Prince Eamon at her side. Absurd, of course. Okay, planting the seed. Who spreads these lies? Matters little. Tales take on a life of their own. Mm-hmm. That's definitely true. Deeds, unless they are tended. But tend to them, then. Oh, who are you going to kill now? Oh, God. Lord Laris, my father, always said he had no use for a master of whisperers. Oh, but you are a master of whisperers? Yet, I find myself wanting for one. Oh, no. I should be glad of your talents. Great. You want to me, your grace. I don't trust that guy though. Playing with fire, Aegon. Shall we escort you to the dragon pit, your grace? Uh, no. Change my mind? Am I going? I think mayhaps I shall fly another day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, it does seem... <laughs> yeah. Who's this guy? He's getting a lot of camera attention. Dornish, are you? Oh. Yes, I am. The part of Westeros, my house never settled. Although it said even dawn mourned the passing of my grandsire, is that so? Who was your grandsire? They call him the conciliator. Oh! King Jaehaerys. <laughs> okay. Thousand apologies. Continue. Look, no, I, I really shouldn't be telling you. Okay. It could cost me my head. But, I'm going to tell you anyway. I'm the son of Balon the Brave. Are you? Bastard brother to Prince Damon. What? And the late King Viserys. Uncle. To the one true queen, Rhaenyra Targaryen. Really? The blood of the dragon runs through these veins, and yes, men would take my head for it. Okay. I don't know if I believe him. You do not look very much like King Viserys. 
or Prince Damon. Mm -hmm. How do you know what they look like? Yeah, he speaks truth right enough. Look, you can tell by his hair. <laughs> yeah, because I'm their half brother. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you who else doesn't have silver hair. Okay. The rightful heir to the Iron Throne, my nephew, Prince Jaceris Valarian. Uh, just say that a little loud. He's your other nephew. Oh. All hail the king! All hail the king! Okay. Drinks for all at the pleasure of the crown! Yes! Wow, oh, what a nice guy! Okay, now we're gonna say, buddy. Amen, <laughs> <laughs> the fierce! You have come so far, and and yet you still lie with your very first. Don't make fun of him. <laughs> you see, I do not exaggerate. Okay, dude, your brother's gonna get angry. <laughs> wow. So, Gwen, our company has come back yonder. Mm. On the cold, hard ground, which is why we make for the bull. A tavern with an excellent reputation. We march to make the first strike in the name of his grace. I assure you, my nephew will not begrudge me a night of comfort. Hmm? Okay. He's not going to listen to him, is he? We will rendezvous with your army at first light. Uh, what do you see, Cole? We're exposed. What? Cole? Uh-oh. Get to the trees! <laughs> Who's that? Oh, did you see them? Yes. Uh oh. Trouble. You guys are in trouble. But you might just make it, I think. Wow. Huh, who's gonna get there first? Oh, it looks like they're gonna make it. They're gonna make it. Yep. Lucky. Hmm. Lucky. Let's just try to burn, start burning the forest. Oh, she's right there. Right there. Kind of hard to see anything, though. So then! Locked out. Is Cole going to say, see, I told you so. You should just stay with us. I'm in your dead. Mm. They know we're abroad. They'll be hunting. And we must move under the trees and by cover of dark starting tonight. And no fucking in. <laughs> yeah, don't tell everyone that you're here. <laughs> so Kristen Cole, with some half dozen other knights, I'm sure of it. Perhaps a scout party for a greater army. Mm. Let's confirm it, your grace. Lord Farring has reported a larger force moving north. Okay. Could you be certain it was Cole from such a great height? It was not such a great height, your grace. Hmm? You said not to engage, so I did. Okay, but you were really close. <laughs> They'll be making for Harren Hall. It is Prince Damon who ought to worry. Really? Damon has Caraxes. Cole will look to increase his numbers, and he may call upon a dragon of his own. Ah, oh, the pressure. Stop it, guys. Dragons root Cole out and burn him. Can't do that. Things will get worse. I have heard your arguments, and will consider them. Okay, good. Just not going to be forced to do it. Just not going to be pressured. Yeah, you got to be so careful. I can say dragon against dragon, things will get out of hand. <laughs> yeah, that's where you went. Is that... On his bed, or? <laughs> he has a sword to lock the door. Okay. Oh, who's that? Who the heck is trying to get in? What the heck? You gonna let people in? Careful, Damon. Hmm. You tell me it's the ghosts. Huh? What's this? Is this a dream? Always coming and going, aren't you? His wife? And I have to clean up after- What? Ah! Okay, this is a dream. Oh my god! You feel guilty now, dude? Why are you out there? Uh, who's this lady? Is this lady like a ghost or a witch? You will die in this place. Oh. Okay, that was freaky. What do you know of the movements of Alicent Hightower? Would you take her hostage or kill her outright? I would speak with her. Oh. Killing her would be easy. <laughs> if war can be averted, it is my duty to avert it. Mm, very good. I have reason to believe she may be of the same opinion. 
Maybe. I can have a message brought to her in secret. She would not agree to it. So you want to meet her in person? I must see her. Where? Face to face. Hmm. She goes nowhere without many eyes watching. Exactly. But? Unless there are fishing boats plenty in the bay. Damon made the journey unhindered. So I make my way to the Red Keep, I presume, and... What? Bring the bell. <laughs> or do I scale the wall and enter her? <laughs> there is one place Alicent goes, outside the castle wall. Oh, okay. Where you may yet find her alone. Wow, it's still gonna be a meeting. This is crazy. This is dangerous. In the daytime? I thought you would go at night time. How is she gonna get past the gates? Is she dressed like a nun? Yes, oh my god. Wow, that's very brave. Or stupid, I'm not sure yet. There she is. They're so close to her. Hopefully no one stops her. Hmm. Oh god. Yikes. Very, very risky. Wow. Oh, she always goes there to light up the candles. Well, they were friends as young teenagers. So there's a little bit of a bond there. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's crazy. She's like, okay. Probably nobody. Okay. Hello. <gasps> no. <laughs> what? Then why'd you put a knife out? I must speak with you. If I could cry out, your knights would find me. I would be taken or slain. Do not before I killed you. Mm. And then what? Didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> oh, I have begun badly. Okay, she didn't scream. Okay, that's good. We watched the tourney together, you and I. Mm -hmm. The day my brother was born. We knew, even then, that men trained up for battle are eager to fight, to see blood and glory. I know you do not have that desire within you. Hmm. Hopefully not. Rainies has counseled me. She said she saw in you a wish to avert the worst of what may now come. Mm. So you've come to surrender then? No. I have come to see if we may uncover some path towards peace. Exactly. Come on, Alicent. But if you and I may come to terms... There are no terms. No. Alicent? You have no army. Your allies turn from you and they hear of your depravity. Your hands are bloodied to no crime. I could never have imagined you... The trespass was not mine. Mm-hmm. I am a mother too and you have yet to answer for the murder of my son. I repudiate that act with all my heart. Of course you do. Oh, God. <laughs> Tension. Okay, guys, talk calmly. You now stoop so low that you will countenance the suffering and death of thousands in order that your feckless son your father changed his mind. Mere yeah, hours before I left him, he had affirmed my right to the throne. Yeah. A right he upheld steadfastly every day of his life after my mother. Exactly. But we changed his mind. Yet you will maintain that his mind was changed in an instant. I will. You lie. You've misinterpreted misinterpreted the information that Kim Sirius told you, Alison. He changed his mind, Renera. Did he? No, he didn't. I swear this to you, on the memory of my mother. No. Do you think me capable of such naked deceit? Is Renera gonna believe her? What do you do? What did he say at the end? Mm-hmm. He was weary. Yeah, tell him. Tell him what she, he said. It was hard at times to understand, but he spoke Ekon's name. He said he was the prince that was promised to unite the realm. That's the story. What? I desire peace as you do, but to possess... Did my father use those words? The prince that was promised? Mm-hmm. Did he? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He spoke to you of the Song of Ice and Fire. Mm-hmm. No. She didn't know that, did she? It's a story he once told about Egon the Conqueror. Mm-hmm. The, the Conqueror. Alison, do you realize what's happened now? You must go before you are discovered. There's been a mistake. There's been a mistake. Yes, there has been. <laughs> Big mistake. You can prevent this, Alison. A terrible war is looming, and even victory may be so bloody as to be counted or not. Exactly. Not let your pride blind you. There's, There's been blood. no mistake. Ah, uh, there has been. My father has gone from court. Court is on the march, Eamon. You know what Eamon does? Hmm. It's too late, Rhaenyra. Alison. Damn. But at least Alison knows now that she probably was wrong in what the prince, what uh, King Viserys said to her. At least they clarify that bit. At least she knows that her father didn't betray her. Wow, another really good episode. Moving the story along and some of the key players are trying to understand what's really at stake. I think especially I just talked about what the last thing we saw between Alison and Renera. Now Alison understands or knows that what she heard from King Viserys was wrong. 
she didn't uh, interpret that correctly. And also on Rhaenyra's side, so she knows that the king didn't betray her or didn't change his mind. Damon, meanwhile, is that Har Harrenhal, there's not much there, but I guess the men is what he's after. So hopefully he'll get the support. I think Cole's also heading to Harrenhal, but at least they, they were spotted by one of Damon's daughters. I'm really happy and pleased that, at least right now, Rhaenyra is not jumping to conclusions, not acting impulsively, even if her advisors are pressuring her so heavy. She's still trying to avoid war, death, and dragon war, basically. King Aegon, he's easily influenced. And that Lord Laris, he's very influential. Very influential. I'm really worried about him. So who knows what role he's going to have moving forward in this season. Uh, overall, really good episode. Really good to see the storyline of this season two shaping up to see where it's going to lead. Okay, so that's all for today for me. I'm looking forward to seeing where we go with episode four. Uh, before I go, I want to ask you to please subscribe to my channel. That would be a great help. Otherwise, you guys have a great night. Okay, bye. So I'm back with episode four. I just finished watching episode three. There's a few things that I'm thinking about uh, that may hopefully we'll get some answers in this episode. What is going to happen with Cole and Allison's brother as they head towards, I believe they are going to Harrenhal. And in Harrenhal is where Damon is. Damon at the moment seems to be a bit uh, plagued by nightmares and I may maybe guilt or what happened with uh, King Aegon's son as he saw that like that dream or vision and then there was that mysterious lady in black so it'd be good to find out who this mysterious lady is and how is this going to affect Damon. Also we saw that King Aegon uh, wanted to fight but keeps getting manipulated by everyone. At the same time he is making brash decisions. Now someone that's not making brash decisions seems to be Queen Rhaenyra. She's always trying to keep a cool head amongst everything with all her advisors saying let's go to war, let's attack with dragon let's go to war she's keeping a cool head so i think those are some good little uh plot points that will hopefully push forward the storyline we'll see all right before i start i just want to ask you one thing if you could please uh, subscribe to my channel that would be a great help that would help me out so much please comment and let me know what you thought of these episodes so far and if you're ready to watch listo vamos with the red dragon and the gold okay we're back with damon is this another vision or dream? Oh, he's in King's Landing. What? I can't understand. Oh. Speak plainly. Can we the actress is back in season two? Stop. You created me, Damon. Hmm. He's feeling guilty. Oh, crap. This quest for the crown might drive him mad. <laughs> I think he's going crazy. Mm. What? Oh, what? He had blood on him. No, he doesn't have blood on him. Slept well. Mm, not really. Edgon's army departed King's Landing a fortnight ago. The castles of Rosby and Stokeworth have both fallen without siege. They have raised Aegon's banner. Damn. Sir Criston's army now tripled in strength. Getting stronger, that's what I was thinking. Even if you can raise a host of rivermen, it will not be ready in time to face him. Hmm. Let's see what your Lord Paramount is made of. Okay, this Lord Paramount better help him out. He sounds like he's very sick. My, 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 my prince, uh, my, my grace. Lord Grover is looking more hale and healthy than I expected. <laughs> Tully, grandson to Grover Tully, he is heir to River Run and the future Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. Wow, he's just a boy. He's gonna negotiate with the boy. How fares your grandson? Take your sword off. You can sit properly, buddy. Sadly, he remains incapacitated. He lies in a kind of waking sleep. I think it's just dementia, maybe. Well, my time is short and I have need of an army. Perhaps you might place a feather pillow over his head and speed along your in- <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, so you can take charge. I, I love my grandsire, like a father. I think he's been sarcastic. Are you here to speak with your grandsire's voice for House Tully in the Riverlands? While he still lives? Then why are you here, buddy? That is not our way. Then you're of no use to me. Mm -hmm. Which of your countrymen claimed to fight in the name of Egon? Was it was it Bracken or Blackwood? House Bracken that declared green, your grace. Okay. <laughs> Summon the Blackwoods here. I require men of action to lead my host of rivermen. Okay. You did okay, buddy, but didn't do much in reality. Okay. Where are we at with the ships? Are we ready to sail? And you are 
Alan. The guy who saved your husband. I'm given to understand my Lord Husband owes you his life. Yeah. But I was not told his saviour was so comely. Your mother must have been very beautiful. Is your work finished? No, my lord. Oops, awkward. <laughs> he was the sailor who plucked you from your watery grave. Mm hmm. He sure was. Yes. You did not think to mention it. I did not think it relevant. Uh, pretty relevant. I know who he is, Corliss. Who is he? I don't. <laughs> he saved his lord's life. He should be raised up and honored, not hidden beneath the tides. Is this why you came? Hmm. I came to tell you that Baylor has called me to Dragonstone. That counselor's going to dine on her and Jace for supper. They grow restless in Rhaenyra's absence. Where has that woman gone? I suspect to try and draw us all back from the abyss. Yeah, trying to create some peace. I'm glad Rhaenyra has a uh, ally in Rhaenys. As requested. What is that? I brewed it myself. I will see it delivered discreetly. So what's this for? Is she pregnant? I mean, I'm jumping to conclusions here, but you never know. Tell me, do you believe Viserys wanted Aegon to succeed him? Mm, she's doubting herself. I could not know. Exactly, only you know. I'm assuming this medicine's for her or whatever's in that drink. That's my assumption. Is she pregnant? Uh-oh. Yeah, I think she is. Okay, it's probably Coles. So Kristen Cole's host has taken to exploiting the tree cover. He now only travels by night to confound our dragon. Mm -hmm. There were signs of an army moving northwest. I believe. She believes. You should have burned them when you had the chance. Perhaps you can hey. when you next sight them on your dragon. Yeah, exactly. The only reason we know any of this is because of Baylor's efforts. What do we know, my prince? If you ask me, it is little. Oh. We know that Cole possesses a host that is growing in strength and that it is a problem. An enemy host growing in constitution marches somewhere in the vastness of the crown land. We could perhaps act if only we had a host of our own or someone here to lead us. Oh, shut up. Does it speak falsely, my prince? Yes, it does. I'm doing my best to steer it, Sir Alfred. Hmm. Why should your voice be any louder than ours, princess? What? It is her voice and that of the king consort that we need to raise alliances and command our vassals. But they are gone. What has come of this council? Mm-hmm. You better shut up, dude. So much disrespect. Is there not to be done in the absence of the queen but to grouse and claw for power? Exactly, assholes. We do not know the queen's doings, but we must trust that she seeks the same as each of us at this table. Exactly. An end to this conflict. This Cole's army? Men of House Darkland, all who bend the knee to the true king Aegon will be spared. You can earn back your honor by raising his banner and fighting in his name against the whore of Dragonstone. Right, whatever. Great. So you got no choice, basically. Fight with us or you're dead. Is there no honor left in this world, Cole? Exactly. Sacking your queen's own castles and putting up people to the sword. Mm-hmm. Yes. You're not fit for the White Cloak. Not at all. This is a better death than a traitor deserves. You should thank me for it. Whatever, dude. Yours will come in kind. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they're bending the knee now. Oh, God, guys. We'll lead the van northeast. But Harrenhal is to the west. Indeed it is. So they're not going to Harrenhal? I told you we should have sent our dragons. And now look what's happened. Damon, of all people, has taken Harrenhal. It's your fucking mm. castle! Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. <laughs> castle is more crippled than I am, Your Grace. It's like to drive Damon to madness as he attempts to make use of it, which is beyond his faculties. I need to be informed of these things. Because <laughs> I will not be made to look a fool in front of my allies and enemies. Exactly. Aaron Hall must wait. Sir Christum is marching on Rook's Rest. Pathetic prize. After Cole smashes it, we'll have Dragonstone effectively cut off by land. Oh. We will not be one with dragons alone, but with dragons flying behind armies of men. No. Mm. Have him turn about. I want Harren Hall back. <laughs> You're the king. You got no power? How do you know this? You sent word to me. To you? The two of you have been plotting? Plotting. Mm hmm. Without my authority. Yep, 100%. <laughs> oh, God. You're <laughs> insulting your king. Okay, challenge. What's he gonna do? Luke Coston Vivilus Segiton 
really guys need. Mm. Okay, very undecisive, King. And everyone's manipulating you. We'll deal with it in the Riverlands in time. But right now, Brooks Rest is an easy target. And a worthy effort. Don't you agree? Mm. Well, this king has no power. None. After your absence from the small council, I feared something was amiss. Mm-hmm. Nosy guy. I ventured into the lamprey pie at last night's supper. Too far, I fear. Gastro. <laughs> mm. Mm. What about that drink? But I believe it is a sin to deny your appetites. Why does this guy have so much power? What's his play now? If I may be so bold, my queen. Yeah, uh, you've already been very bold. You've not seen yourself of late. Only weeks ago, my lord husband was alive. And the realm was at peace. Now I've barely had the hours to grieve one tragedy before suffering the next. I regret if I have not been myself. Exactly. The voices of history guided for Ceres. He knew that his wisdom alone could only reach so far. Do you think that is why he changed his mind? He didn't change his mind. How the realm would react to her success. It's impossible to know what steered his thoughts in those final hours. Do you now doubt his intention? Yes, he does. Rhaenyra's supporters will believe what they wish. And so will Egon's. The war will be fought. Many will die. And Damn, the victor will yeah. eventually ascend the throne. No matter what the story said. The significance of Viserys' intentions died with him. Yes, it did. Hmm. I don't like this guy. He has too much power or influence. Damon? What's the latest here? It's not too creepy of a place. <laughs> oh, great. Whose light is that? Again? What, it's no one? Oh, Damon. Who's that? Okay, this has to be another dream. It's not Eamon, is it? No. Oh, turning around. Oh, what? <laughs> Crap. Dude, you are imagining things. It's a touch late to be stalking about a strange castle putting its people to the sword. That lady again. I'm called Alice. Once you get to know me, you'll find I'm not so bad. Hmm? So what are you then? Some kind of maester? In a manner of speaking. I inherited the duties after the last one fled in the night. Fled? Hmm. Why? Just never settled in. How are you settling in? Not very good. Sleep can be thin in this place. Harren Hall's been cursed since its first stone was laid. Oh, what are you looking at your fingers? Heart trees imbued with the spirits of those who lived long before he came. It's said hmm. their whispers can still be heard sometimes. The midwife's town. Oh, the very bed you sleep in was made from such a heart tree. Oh, wow. Have you experienced anything? Uh, yes. Plenty of things. You are a strange kind of woman. I'm no woman at all. I'm a barn owl, cursed to live in human form. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you've come here after quarreling with your wife. What? You arrive here alone to claim the castle and yet send no ravens. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Do you now plan to make your own claim? Perhaps to prove yourself to her. Do not try me with your insolence, witch. It's a hard thing, I imagine, to give obeisance to one who replaced you as heir. Uh, don't drink tired whatever that is. No, no, don't do it. What is it? Ask him. To win this place to your side. What the hell is it? You gonna drink it? What the hell? Where is he? Pay for their treachery against the laws of God and men. Hmm? Who are you? Sir William Blackwood of House Blackwood, Your Grace. Okay. Damn, what the hell has happened to Damon? What might I do for you? It was you who summoned me. I was given to understand that you wanted an army. Well, who doesn't these days? Mm hmm. Some 20 years ago, my lord bent the knee to King Viserys and acknowledged the Princess Rhaenyra as his rightful heir. So you fight for this old oath? Hey! She had the true blood of the dragon. And you're prepared to march without the leave of your lord. What the heck is happening? What? Is that his wife? Oh, this can't... What the heck's going on? It's not his wife. Your grace. Mm-hmm. And once you and your dragon bring the queen's justice to the Brackens, our armies will be yours. Okay. So help me and we'll help you. What is it? 
They don't care what I think. Mm-hmm. More respect. Who are gone? My counsel. Cole, Amond, they pursue their campaign without seeking my aid or even my thoughts. Mm-hmm. They do whatever they want. What thoughts would you have? I'm the king. Do you think simply wearing the crown imbues you with wisdom? Mm, not really, but still. <laughs> it's my hope that <laughs> once enthroned, you would honor the burden of your new duties, be silent, and strive to learn from the more studied minds around you. Really? Be silent, okay. In the hope that you might be half the king your father was. Ouch! What are you saying? I ruled in your father's absence throughout his long illness and Otto Hightower's as cunning a statesman as ever lived. You should humbly be seeking our opinions and counsel. Wow. You have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. The lies as well that were told. What would you have me do, mother? Do simply what is needed of you. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> Great. Then why choose him as a king? He didn't even want to be king. On your feet! To root for us! To battle! To battle? It's broad daylight. We must hold here and ready ourselves to lay siege at nightfall. We shall move now and strike by day. They will not expect it. What? Expect it because it is fucking madness. <laughs> did you forget the little encounter we had on the road to Rosby? I did not. Dragonstone and their dragons are just across the bay. What? Grown tired of living, have you? You're afraid, sir. Oh, she's so challenging him. We advance. Cole thinks he's the big tough guy, doesn't he? Okay. We need to send a dragon. Where? Mm, just here. Many Darkling men declared for Aegon. Those who refused were put to the sword. What of my father? Mm. He kept his oath. Cole took his head for it. Damn. You vanished without so much as a word. I apologize for my absence and the secrecy, but such was necessary. Mm. I went to King's Landing to meet Queen Alicent and sue for peace. You saw Alicent? Yes, I did. I could have been taken or slain. I inherited 80 years of peace from my father. Mm. Before I was to end it, I needed to know that there was no other path. Exactly. And now I do. Okay, what's the path? Only one choice remains to me. Either what? I war? Win my claim or die. We stand at the ready. Cole's victories have only emboldened him. He marches on Rook's Rest. Wait. Why Rook's Rest? It's but a small coastal keep. Because Lord Staunton is a member of this council. And because his castle is small and vulnerable and there for the taking. Cole knows we have no army on the mainland. He is brazen. He is daring us to act. We need to send a dragon. Hmm? Finally? There are those who have mistaken my caution for weakness. What? Does she have a plan? Let that be their undoing. I will go. If you die, all is lost. Yeah, everything's done. Me. No. I will burn Cole's lines and withdraw before King's Landing could even you raise the, the alarm. You lack experience. You must send me, Your Grace. Oh. Melis is wow. the largest dragon and no stranger to battle. I will meet Cole. Whoa. Okay. I hope she survives. She better survive. Things are coming to a big time turning point, I think. What's King Aegon thinking about? Is he gonna take his dragon as well? Dude, what are you doing? I wish only to fight for you. For your claim and mine. I... What's up? Something. I should have told you when you first became heir to the throne. Oh, she's gonna tell him the story of Vega? Viserys told me when he named me his successor. Hmm. And it has passed from king to heir since Aegon the Conqueror's time. Hmm. You gonna go in drunk, King Aegon? Jeez. I never told you because I was unsure that I believed it myself. The Targaryen who sits the Iron Throne is not just a king or a queen. They are a protector. Mm, my God. And to lead the Seven Kingdoms, to strengthen them, and to unite them against a common foe. Mm. My father believed that I alone was meant to be this protector. The horrors I have just loosed cannot be for a crown alone. 
Right. That is why I must believe what Viserys told me when he named me his heir. What Jaehaerys had told him. And what I will now tell you. What is it? What is it? Tell him. Egon the Conqueror's dream. He called it the Song of Ice and Fire. Hmm. Well, okay, these guys are basically going to a little bit of a suicide mission in the beginning. We hate to be the guys at the front. Dragon. But which one is this one? Let's keep the dragon's attention divided. Make the signal. What signal? All is going to plan. All is going to plan. Is this aiming? Is aiming here? Mm, no. What's going to happen here? Wow. All is going to plan. What's the plan? Yep, he's there. They wanted to attract a dragon. Great. Bombas, Vega, Hmm, he's there to attack. Great. Now I'm really worried about her. Oh, he's there too! Holy moly. Hmm. Whose dragon is that? King Aegon's. This was your secret plot, Carl. No. <laughs> Stalwart men of House Targaryen! Your king has joined you! For the one true king! Okay, they're willing to sacrifice their lives for this king, but really for Cole's stupidity. Where are you, Raymond? This Aemon's gonna let the king die. Mm. Oh, attack, Melis! Your cut is. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Damn! Oh God! Ah! Oh. oh man! He's dead! He's dead! Oh man! Oh God! Good landing! Ah! Oh, the blood! Oh! Oh God! Is this Amon now? Amen? Oh God! Here comes Amon. So Amon's gonna look like the hero. So he has a huge dragon. Oh god. Is Cole gonna be smiling here now? Oh my gosh! Be careful! Oh! No, that doesn't hurt. That doesn't hurt that much. Get out of the way! Thank the gods! The goddess! Who's he firing on? He fired his own brother? Or oh, both of them? Whoa. Is he killing his own brother? He's dead. Oh. Your grace. Your grace? There's no more grace to be had there. Hmm. Get out of there. Attack Melis? Who are you attacking? Oh my god. You gonna attack the big one? No. No, 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 no. We don't want her to die. No. Oh my god. Oh, 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 ouch. Oh, okay, a little bit of pain, a little bit of pain. Oh, God. 
Oh my god! Oh! What's happening here? No! Oh, he fell, he fell. Oh. Yes. Oh, Rain Ace. Rain Ace, get out of there. I'm worried for you. You're not turning around, are you? Whew, this episode's crazy. Very careful, I'm worried for you. Oh! No! No! Oh, no, 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 no! She's dead, no! Damn it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. No. Yeah. Crap. Oh, there's more. I thought it was over. Okay, what's going on? Okay, well, yeah, Cole's alive, fortunately. Wonder if Egan's alive. It's Allison's brother who took all the glory. Uh, this guy's dead. Yeah, oh god, he's Ash. Wow. Dragons can make a lot of damage. Oh, that's where he crashed. Is he gonna live? Oh. Raymond! What are you doing? Is Aiming gonna kill someone or came to help his brother? Ha! Huh. Where is his grace? He's alive? Is he alive or no? Hmm. Oh, now it's aiming, I guess, the king? Wow. This was a very consequential episode. Uh, wow, 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 I'm in shock. I can't believe we lost Reyna and her dragon. Looks like we lost King Aegon from the little bit that I saw there. And Aemon must have had a different idea what the what he was going to do with that attack. Unbelievable. Wow, this is going to really change things. Also, uh, Rhaenyra told her son, Jason, about that song, the story of the song on fire. So is this going to change things as well for him, how he thinks about supposed to be on the throne or save the kingdom? I have to admit, I'm just in shock. I'm just in shock of the turn on events, losing the dragons, losing um, uh, Rhaenys. That's crazy. She fought really well, but that huge dragon that Aemon's on, there's no way anyone could stop that dragon, at least for now. Damon's still dealing with his issues, with his demons. He seems to be in big time trouble mentally. So I don't know what's going to happen there with Damon. I guess there's no uh, other uh, possibility but to go to war. I think Rhaenyra is going to have to go to war. Allison definitely knows now that she was wrong in what Kim Sirius told her. Things are getting messy. Very messy for, for quite a few different uh, key players. I want to know what Aemon's motivation is and what's going to happen when they get back to uh, back to King's Landing and what's Allison going to think and a uh, really good episode really shocking episode great special effects as always the dragons look amazing the dragons uh, fighting is always really cool how they film those how they create those I uh, really enjoy that and I want to see what's going on in episode 5 because things are getting crazy alright then I hope you have a great night before I go uh, I want to ask you to please subscribe to my channel that would help me out so much otherwise you guys have a great night okay bye